Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Banjo-Tooie for the Nintendo 64, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. This Let's Play is one of the games selected in the 2015 Christmas Special. In fact, I think it was the first of eight games that was confirmed. So, what makes this uh, Let's Play unique is that it's not my first ever Let's Play of a Nintendo 64 game, but it is the first ever time that I Let's Played on a legitimate Nintendo 64 as opposed to A, emulation, or B, the Wii Virtual Console. So yeah, I've already did a little bit of practice on this file. You can erase it over here if you want. Multiplayer, there, there are multiplayer games that you can play, like, with other people, which is pretty cool. You can go to the settings over here, which I don't really care to do. You can replay certain cutscenes. You can copy a save file over there. But I think we're just gonna, like, start a new one. Wow, Banjo got large hands. <laughs> so, of course, this takes place right after the first Banjo-Kazooie game. And, you know, Grunty's Revenge for the Game Boy Advance did not come out at this time. Two years have passed since Gruntilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo-Kazooie, or much longer than that if you watch my original Let's Play of Banjo-Kazooie. I mean, you have to look back, like, almost seven years. After falling from her tower, she was buried underground where she remains until this very day. <laughs> My tiny legs! No good, mistress. Still can't shift rock. <laughs> All because of that stupid bear. You're gonna get yourself a hernia just using your back the whole time. Meanwhile, at Banjo's house... Wow, his bed's so small. Mambo play well has much of bear's cash. He's right, Kazooie. There goes your bird seed money. Don't be so sharp, Banjo! Why would you bet food money on a card game? Hey, look outside, everyone! Grunty the Witch is coming! And he just takes money. Where, Kazooie? I can't see her. Oh, er, uh, false alarm, Bottles. Must have been some shadows. Come on, Boneface! Let's play! I feel lucky. Oh, of course, Kazooie's still a bit of a jerk. <laughs> but that's her charm, I suppose. Yeah, that's right, Kazooie's a female. Okay, in the original Banjo-Kazooie, then, there was never a rock slide like this. Further, there just happens to be one now. That is the largest drill burr ever. Thanks for showing your hand bottles! So stop rocking the table! You're making me so sick! Or stop rocking the house! Mambo, 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 mambo not r rock the table. Whole house shakes lots. B -b Perhaps one of us should g go take a look outside. You can tell that drill is overcompensating for a lot right there. It's bigger than the entire vehicle! Just look at it! Like, not even the treads are that large. Apparently it's also a door. When you're sniffing that Mountain Dew vapor. is waiting! Uh, quick, 
Wait, we must go, or angry Grunty will be. Then get off me, you must, or move I cannot. It stopped now. I wonder what it was. Sure was noisy. Let's go take a look, Kazooie. But, but it's dark out there, and er, uh, I'll be scared. Mumbo, much brave. Me go look outside. Back in minute. What a sucker, huh? Come on, Banjo. Give me a hand. Or wing. Kazooie! Grunty mustn't get you out your sister's will. Big rock is so powers we must combine. Grunty's sisters, you should not mock. Now watch our magic bless this rock. Huh, apparently they wrote that in English. Normally, giant bull, the smaller boulders are supposed to hit them in the head. God, Rock has! So out you can come! As you can see, Grunty is mostly decomposed. No, no, no! This cannot be! What's happened to little old me? Well, two out of three ain't bad. Nice, Grunty looks! Last weight you have. I hate bones! A body I need! Can you help with this little deed? Yes! Plan to help we have! So back to our castle we must go! Right then, girls! Let's fix me up! Then Banjo's hairy butt I'll whoop! This not good. Me go tell Banjo. Arg! Seen us, Bony Man has. Him we must whack. Yeah, you follow Bony Woman there. Leave it to me. He's no hassle. I'll kick butt. Then off to the castle. How is she able to run if she's mostly bones? Don't you need, like, a muscular system for that? Guess I'll be having that bird seed after all, huh, Banjo? But you cheated, Kazooie! That's not... Everyone! <laughs> Must run! Quick! Grunty coming! Revenge is mine, I cannot miss! Let's see that furry fool dodge this! Yeah, yeah, Skull Boy! And I bet she had two heads! No joke, look! <sighs> Spell coming! He's right! Quick! Everyone out! I'm not falling for that trick again! I'm staying right here! And this is why you don't gamble, kids. <laughs> Hurry, you must! Ready to leave, we are! Hold on, sis! I'm nearly there! I've just been to blast that bear! Troops, we will leave! 
destroy area, they will! Or just walk around and do absolutely nothing. Stop! Wait for me, Mistress Grunty. No, no, Glongo! You stay here! I'll be back! Have no fear! You're like, oh, I'm gonna walk. Meanwhile, the next day, or same day, we just clear it up. That seemed like the most intense poker game out there if it just blew out all the windows. Oh. Mm. Mumbo's head hurts. Look at our house! Well, at least everyone got out safely. Hang on! Where's Goggle Boy? Oh, there he is. I thought you said you were going to be staying right there, and now you left too. Uh-huh. Mo looks much unwell. It's worse than that! Grunty's killed four bottles! He wasn't the favorite character in the in Banjo-Kazooie anyway. Kazooie! Sorry. Grunty wreck house and kill bottles. She must pay. Bear and bird get after which. Mumbo see you later. Great! I get to peck some more witch butt! Let's go, Banjo! Uh, I have a feeling it's not going to be so easy this time. Also, Grunty doesn't have much of a butt if she's all bones. <laughs> Alright, so, Bottles, you're dead. How's it going? Hurry up and get after the witch! Can't you see I am decaying down there? That's what she said. Okay, so if you remember, like, use the analog stick to move. A is to jump, B is to attack. If you hold Z, you can crouch. Z and C left is your talent trial, which allows you to move faster. Funny thing is, 2 is not in this game at all, and we saved her in the first game. Like, all of the skills that you learned in the original Banjo-Kazooie are still here. Like, shoot eggs with C up, and then you shoot them from behind with C down. Z and C right is your Wonder Wing, which gives you invincibility as long as you have gold feathers. Oh no! Various insects are taking an interest in my corpse! So if you want to see the controls, you can probably just go over here, or to this molehill over here. As you can see, Spiral Mountain is just a little bit different from the first game. <laughs> Stupid bear and bird coming. Me wait for them in here. Yeah, so everyone else thinks that Banjo Kazooie are dead. But Klungo saw them. Try using eggs as ammo! Yeah, so now we finally got eggs. There you go. You can just roll as long as you're running. I notice you no longer have that uh, bear punch anymore. Normally you could do that. Now you just do that. And hit Z while in midair to just do your big bomb over here, or your beat bomb, I think it's called. Doesn't really matter. Either way, it's still very good. And that's where Grunty fell. Like, it left a big imprint. Red feathers are needed for Kazooie to fly! Kind of figured as much. Speaking of which, you can uh, start flying around here. So I'll try to grab as much feathers as possible. And we'll go over here to a Grunty's old lair. That's your flight pad, so just jump on that and you'll fly. And you can press B to do, like, your bomb attack. But it costs you, like, one feather? So there you go. We just made it to Grunty's old hideout. Hey, Cheeto, how's it going? Hello again, Banjo. Remember me? 
I'm Cheeto with a magical spell book. Yeah, yeah, we know who you are. Just hand over something useful. You're out of luck there, I'm afraid. Grunty ripped out all of my pages because I helped you in the last game. Well, not all of them. I'd be most grateful if you could look out for them on your travels. Maybe. What's in it for us? Well, for every five pages you return, I'll let you in on a little secret. You mean a cheat? Well, I'm not called Cheeto for nothing. Eh, that much is true. Speaking of which, we can find some gold feathers over here. Now, these actually change color. So you can grab them when they're, like, yellow or gold. Or you can grab them when they're red. <laughs> the music is exactly the same as it was in the N64 for well, Banjo-Kazooie. But there is, like, no way into the other worlds, like Mumbo's Mountain and the like. You can't go to those stages. That's too bad, though. Oh, you can actually climb in this game. No, wait, you could not Banjo-Kazooie as well. I forgot about that. Let me go down here and see what I can find. You know, there used to be a honeycomb piece over here, but there isn't now. That's cool. So I'll make my way back up so I can fly again and see what else we can access. Because remember, in Banjo-Kazooie, we never had a flight pad in Spiral Mountain. So this allows us to access different areas that we could not before because back then they didn't exist. I already have a hundred red feathers, so that's the most you can carry. So, why don't we take a look around here? Let's see what we can find. Okay, that looks like a Cheeto page over there. There's a little cave around the waterfall, we'll deal with that later. But for now, I want to do a little bit more exploring. Like, see what else is around here. Like, maybe I'll find something real neat. Or I won't. You never know. Like, you're not guaranteed to find something really good. You might find something really trash. Hang on, there is something around here. Can I break this? No, I can't. There's probably another way to do so, but right now I can't do anything with that. There's a Banjo-Kazooie cart, which is actually a little secret. So I'll go back here to get some health. Pick up honeycombs to boost your energy! Oh, that's actually the speed boots. I want to get those. There, and I can just run a little bit faster for a few seconds. I'll go in that cave later, but for now, I just want to go and, uh... Get the Cheeto page. Oh, well, you can run across water too. Just hold A while you jump on that, and you can get up here. Well done! You found one of my missing pages. Collect five, then return them to me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain, which are currently two. Well, I still got some pages, but they're practically useless. Okay, now we should actually decide to go in here. Because I don't think there's much else for us in this general area. Oh, I already got 100 eggs. Cool. If you talent try, you actually do move a bit faster. Inside the digger tunnel, we'll just follow the treads. See where Grunty went. Hey, Klongo, what's up? Banjo's like, hey, I'm feeling a bit lazy here. Klongo, a minion with a mission. Uh, uh, uh. If it isn't the bear bird who caused so much trouble to Mistress Grunty. Hmm, I don't recall anything like that happening. Uh, uh, uh. You is stupid. At least we can speak properly. Uh, uh, huh? Klunko is mad now. Your game ends here. Where'd you get that anyway? It's just as big as you. And you eat the glass. 
Okay, now we got our first boss battle, Klungo. Usually when he clones himself, it's annoying. However, if you just go after the last one that moves, you'll be fine. Now he uses a special shield, and he'll just start throwing potions at you. So as long as you keep moving, they cannot hit you. Okay, what was that one? Usually when they blend in so close together, it's hard to see. Like, which one is actually going to be the real Klungo. If you hit the fake one, then obviously you just do no damage. Wow, he's that easy. Just three hits. You mad? Nasty bear and bird hurts poor Klungo. You asked for it! Why don't you run off, and we'll forget this ever happened? Ugh, good idea. But you not seen last stuff, Klungo. Klungo coming, mistress. Please beat failure, Klungo, with broomstick. You'll be lucky if it's just a broomstick. Anyways, it's time for us to head over in this direction. So we gotta keep following the uh, treads even further. And it'll take us over here. The other way will just send us back up, which we don't want to do. Alright, let's see the world beyond Spiral Mountain. This is the Isle of Hags in Jinjo Village. So yeah, this is the village where the Jinjos live. If you remember Banjo-Kazooie, there was always like five colored figures. I don't want to sound racist, by the way. But I mean, they were literally full of many different colors. And there were five of them in each stage. If you rescued all five, you were given a Jiggy. And they basically looked like uh, little uh, creatures. They're pretty cool. This is one of my silos! Open up some more to create a network of shortcut tunnels! Okay, so you can just jump in that tunnel, and you can warp over to the next tunnel. So yeah, that's a new feature they add in this game, warps. So take advantage of them. Alright, I think this is King Jingaling or something? Who is the Jinjo King? As you can tell, like, the I called him King, because that's his title. Alright, let's see what he got for us. Yo, what's up? I'm King Jingaling, king of all things Jinjo and ruler of this village. Your kingdom seems a bit empty. My people were scared away by those witches and their giant machine. I kinda like it quiet, but I need to get them all back for the kickball tournament next week. Doesn't seem that important to me. But it is. There's a big kickball rivalry between the Jinjos and the Moles, which means there could be trouble if we don't turn up. Oh dear. Exactly. Anyway, here's an incentive for you to rescue my people. Ah, Jiggy. They also made collecting the Jiggies faster too. I believe you should go and see Master Jiggy Wiggy in his temple, now. Jiggy who? Jiggy Wiggy! He's the leader of a secret and ancient order dedicated to the my mystical powers of the Crystal Jiggy. Ancient order? Crystal Jiggy? You just made that up, didn't you? No, honest, it's all true. He's very important to your adventure as only the Crystal Jiggy can open the worlds that you must enter. Can you show us the way, King Dingaling? It'll be my pleasure. He just responded as if that's his actual name. Oh, but there's Bottle's house. How does King Jingling have, like, the way to open a door in Bottle's house? That seems a little intrusive. I should be worried about that. Like, if some monarch has the ability to open a door in my own house. Not bad for a king, huh? Yeah! His strange pet thingy was cool. 
let's go and find that Jimmy Wiggy then. Man, they're bad with names. Meanwhile... Could they not come up with a more obvious location for a base that just stands right out? Uh, I don't like the looks of that ray over there. It must absorb a lot of energy to raise them power bills. <laughs> but they're witches, I bet you they don't even pay them. Come on, sisters! Time I lack! What's the plan to get my body back? Annoying your rhyming is! So stop it or we will not tell! Oh! If I must! We're still allowed to talk like Yoda, though. Bob, this is! Big old blaster built by Mingy and me! Life force from ground! Plants and creatures it can suck. Is that called Minji or Mingy? Stored in big tank, life force is. Shower Grunty will take when tank full. That new body you will have. An evil and heartless plan. I like it. How long will it take to suck up enough life force? Not slim you are. So plenty will be needed. So start blasting! Patient, you must be! Target you first, must pick! Hmm... That cursed jingling has just given the furry fool a jiggy! I reckon we should blast the Jinjo King! Auto-targeting Bob has... Button you only have to press! Blow. Suck. <laughs> I love how the buns are just so straightforward. Warmed up, Bob is. So begin well the firing sequence. Target Bob has hit! Steal life force he will! Our lucky Bob was bear we just missed. Never mind him! What about that traitor jingling? Oh, I didn't even know the castle had life too. He's just a zombie now! And the pet was just hiding. Successful Bob was! Jingling's life force we have! Right then, girls! Let's blast the whole island! This we can do! But big charge up Bob will need! Hours it will take! And revenge bear will seek. Ah! I wouldn't worry. Banjo's got no one to help him now that Mole and Jingling are gone. He'll never get to us in time. Do you realize this is not a time sensitive game? So I have all the time in the world, actually. Oh, apparently Bottles' house is right over there. You can tell it says Bottle's House. Like, it gives you an arrow as if you're not sure. It's like, uh, uh, I don't know. I'm a big derpy idiot. Anyways, I think now would be a good time to call it an episode. So you can just go into pause, and you save your game. I think it saves just by you hitting the, hearing that ring! I don't know. So in the next episode, we'll see what's in Bottle's House. And it's obviously not going to be Bottle's because he's dead. Goodbye, everyone.